Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Our year end sale is still going strong, so you can use that promo code New Year. Save yourself 15% on almost everything on the website, including everything brand new today, uh, like the new Panzer IV pre order and the new Reactive Armor tile pack, along with everything else. Uh, we will do a check in in the design room as usual, uh, but make sure you stick around afterwards because I do have some information regarding the most recent mock contest. Otherwise, let's dive on in, take a little closer look. All right, heading on into the design room, we're taking a closer look at the Panzer IV winter camouflage prototype. So we got Dan joining us, surrounded by some of the uh, latest and greatest creations here uh, in the Brick Mania design room. This is a heck of a creation that we're taking a look at here, though, because it's got 16 brand new custom printed or custom created elements, as well as a whole bunch of custom printing. As you can see, we've already got some prototype stuff going on on the front there. So Dan, tell me a little bit about this ultra premium Panzer IV. So this is the Panzer IV that we've always wanted to do. We've, we've, oh, we've, cool. I like we've, it. We've, we've done a, a J model before, a variant mm -hmm. J, which is just, it's the final Panzer IV um, at the end of the, or towards the end of the war, late 1944, 1945, early 1945. They were really stretching the limit of, and a dwindle, rapidly dwindling limit of their production capability in Germany. So um, they started simplifying production. Mm -hmm. They took out some of the features. They took out the, the auxiliary motor, put in, um, Anyway, anything they could to just to just like let's let's get Create these tanks, tanks off yeah, yeah right. off, off the assembly line um, and whatever you know whatever we can we can do. Um, the armor is is kind of unique. This we've done it before. The last time we did it, we we built solid tile mm -hmm. uh, armor panels to have have hanging off the side. Um, this is something completely different. Mm -hmm. This is this is these are three D printed panels that we invented um, to uh, basically capture the uh, the. It's a mesh standoff armor. Right. So the the armor isn't isn't supposed to protect the tank against other tank rounds. You mm -hmm. know, like like you know, uh, high, you know high high velocity tank rounds. What it does do though is it's supposed to trigger and detonate the uh, shape charges of, of of shape charged weapons like a, a bazooka, a Piat, uh, Panzerfaust, that kind of thing. Before it can do real damage right. to the actual hull. Sure. Because it required the shape charge requires it detonating right on on that armor plate, mm -hmm. and then it'll you know it'll, it'll it'll shoot a stream of usually like molten copper or whatever the the it, it's it's nasty stuff. Yeah, uh, a jet of, of you know, the shape shard or the explosive right through the armor. Mm -hmm. If they can detonate it prematurely against the standoff armor, then you the, the guys inside stand a lot better chance of surviving yes. a hit like that. Um, you know, it doesn't take much. If you penetrate this armor in the right spot, you might hit a you might hit a, you know ready rounds mm -hmm. waiting to go into the gun. You might you Blows might actually from just, the inside out or just create spalding. You have hot metal jet of hot metal shooting inside the tank, right, metal fragments breakishing around the tank. It, it could cause all kinds of damage to people and equipment inside yep. that. Lot very brutal, no doubt, no right. doubt. So this is the you know final days of the war, uh, winter 1944 1945. They they took a lot of uh, of the armor that they did have and used applied what they call chalk paint it's, it's a white paint it's not permanent it's mm -hmm. like a water-based paint with chalk in it and they just whitewash everything yeah. so, so it, it, these things don't stand out against the snow um and that's what we're simulating here so there's a, you know it's a light gray base and then we're going to print a lot of the surfaces we're not going to print mm -hmm. the whole thing that would be ridiculous it's just you know print print but the, the visible ones for sure yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Seen, like we're seeing up front here yeah, yeah this, this barrel will not be white in the final thing this is these sure. pieces don't come in gray so we, we will <laughs> yeah. we will be making a somewhere in between um we do have you know, there's 16 custom 3D printed elements. We mm -hmm. do have Brickmania track links. Modeled specifically for this build. I mean, that's pretty incredible considering yeah. this is a one and done, you know, when it's over, it's over kind of situation. Well, we do hope to use this again on a future Panzer. Awesome. A, a, a future that's Panzer. Good yeah, it'll be different colors. We're just going to do, I mean, this is going to be a feature that we're doing a lot this year. These, these sort of like premium kits will be um, just a single, you mm -hmm. know, run. And then once they're done, we're going to move on to the next one. So for the be, collectors, yeah, you know, uh, because we have so many things that we want to do, and we're just not going to be able to make these evergreen kits. Yes, you know, there will be armor builder, army building type of kits that'll be a lot more simple. But this like is we've not seen one of them. with the Humvees and the Shermans, etc. Yeah, but absolutely. like we saw with the Befields Panther, uh, this is about as premium as premium gets. Right, and at this point, you know, if you didn't get on the Befields Panther, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's already in our rearview mirror. We're mm -hmm. not planning on making any additional batches. Um, the, the 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 Eagle Seven, the the Persian, same same with that. If you didn't get on the on those, uh, sorry, you're gonna have to wait. We're for moving them. on to yeah. the next latest and greatest thing, the new right. shiny toy. Yeah, and we're pushing the limit. I mean, we want to we want to make sure that these things are actually, you know, not just a repeat of something we've done before. So mm -hmm. we're, we're doing new new parts, new new you know new. Everything. I mean, this yeah. is this is a lot to bring to the table, especially for just one build in particular. Right. 
and and it's smaller. You know, if the the, the Buffels Panther was was you know a premium big model, this mm -hmm. one's not. Um, what you will get is one minifigure. You get a commander minifigure. Yep. He'll be uni he'll be in winter uniform. It'll be unique to this model. We are going to sell upsell the. Uh, give everybody the op the opportunity to yeah, buy two crewmen, two yeah. crewmen, so you could have your your gunner and your loader sitting in the, the side hatches, of it. Yeah, absolutely. Because they do have you do have the at hatches on the side of the turret. They mm -hmm. do open. You can set your guide on the side of here. The uh, spaced armor on the turret has hatches on it, but they do not kind of simulated. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's part of the the way it's put together. It needs, mm -hmm. needs to have it. But um, this is actually four pieces, three uh, D printed. It's not like you know, three D. I don't know, think people don't really quite understand how really expensive and time consuming it is to generate these well just to things. model it alone you yeah. know the, like just the design time it takes to create the element not to mention the printing cost and then the cost of the resin themselves <laughs> right right it's, it's literally just starting from square one and and really we're only impressive. making you know we're not going to make this a, an add-on pack i mean if you mm -hmm. were to say hey can could i just buy the, the, the this armor no it's not, not if you want any more helmets <laughs> <laughs> right it's 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 uh there is a limited capacity for us to make this kind of absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. But definitely upgrades this model, that's for sure. Yep. So design-wise, underneath the uh, the custom-created elements, what do we got going on that uh, might be a little different in previous years, or well, at least uh, functionality-wise? This is a, it, it is a progression of our previous Panzer IVs. Mm -hmm. it, does, it does have really smooth rolling tracks. I don't know if you could. Love to see that. I don't know if it's going to roll on the surface. <laughs> it's, too, it's too slippery. All right, and after a quick set change here, we're doing a, a rolling test on this awesome map here, and look at how smooth that goes that is just awesome you got to love the functionality when it combines with the detail that's just that's everything you're looking for in case you want to just let it sit on a shelf or if you're going to war <laughs> right <laughs> it should also know that the gun does go down as yeah it's going up so. elevates and depresses yeah so that's awesome to that's see. been a request commonly requested feature let's make it depress not just go up so. quite a creation and yet another one in the lineup of premium german armor that brickmania has been working to release over these past couple of months and like dan said it's the panzer IV they've always wanted to do which is just <laughs> awesome to hear that it's all coming together the technology is finally in place dan thanks for checking in all right, so like I said, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the mock contest. Um, so we are going to complete this most recent mock contest. I'm thinking that we'll do the prize announcements uh, this next Friday, and then we'll have the winner announcements the Friday afterwards. Um, and then that will probably it uh, be it for the HQ uh, mock contest for a little bit here. We just don't quite have the personnel to be able to keep them running the way they should be, um, and we got to focus on other things. So we'll still have mock Mondays in our stores, uh, but when it comes to the HQ ones, we're going to take a little breather on those and hopefully bring them back maybe later in 2023. Um, kind of hard to say, but. That's that's the information there. We'll announce the prizes next Friday and then the winners the following Friday, uh, and that'll be how we'll wrap that one up. Otherwise, that just about does it for me here on a Friday. Uh, the F-14 is back on Monday uh, as a restock pre-order for the final day of the sale. So if you missed out on the first couple of batches of that, make sure you circle, uh, set your alarms and circle that date on your calendar. Otherwise, have a happy new year and a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll check in later.